traversing this planet. I'm becoming more and more convinced that what I know is not the same as what exists. What can exist? I must admit it's an interesting thought. But quite disturbing. to this fallen balloon. Uh, what's so funny? Uh, oh, nothing, sir. It's just, in my mind, it sounded like... like the title of some Renaissance painting. The Fallen Balloon of Regis. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> I found the recorder. It's a fallen recorder of Regis. Uh, please stop. From the top. Let's see. The 25th day of the mission, morning. The balloon goes up. You can see the immediate surroundings of the base. They're operating at full capacity. The base is active. The balloon is moving away from the base. Which direction? Approximately south. Huh. I didn't see that from below. They parked several vehicles on top of a nearby hill. It found some water reservoirs. Many of them. Rocks, water, sand. Anything noteworthy? No, not really. No people, units, nor significant changes in the surroundings. The balloon's completing its loop. It seems quieter at the base. But there's still a few people. Two vehicles that weren't there before. They're grouping up. A dozen people gathered in the square, next to the vehicles. They've left. There are no vehicles. There's no one. They must have set off towards their old base. Or to the ship. But why didn't they wait for the convoy to return? Maybe they didn't know the others were in trouble. Doubtful. It was after the clouds attack. Well then, apparently that's how the Alliance treats its people. Lousily, without dignity. The subsequent shots are similar to each other. They show an empty base. Actually, quite a few of these. Oh, they captured the moment I entered the base. And it's empty again. At two o'clock in the afternoon, I was on my way to the convoy by then. So we won't find out anything else. Wait, you're wrong. Someone was in the base. A man. So he's real after all. I knew it. I told you. That you did. Please forgive my doubt. But where is this man now? Can we expect any more? I think he's near the base. Judging by the last slide, 
The Alliance must have a hideout there. And we need to go back, I guess. Decades of space travel have instilled a certain conviction in me. I think people can be more dangerous and deceitful than anything else we may encounter on our journey. I know that. Sometimes I think the presence of humans is the worst thing that happened in space. Or to space, even. So why do you insist on seeking them out? Because I also believe in human goodness. The selfless desire to help others. I can't believe otherwise. All my efforts would be meaningless. I don't know whether to envy you or to worry even more. Oh, that probe again. Is it flying near the base, within range of the control center? Uh, affirmative. And? Do you expect me to rummage through the enemy's equipment? Again? Well, in my opinion, the more we learn while delaying our encounter with the Alliance, the better. So, what will it be, Doctor? Agreed. I'm curious to see what is recorded. Especially since it witnessed what happened to the convoy. I could have spent countless days in this base and still not discovered their hideout. And it's right above my head. All I needed to do was look up. So this means there's a view of the entire base from up there. I'll confirm when I get there. But, yeah, I think so. I know what's on your mind, sir. 
I could have been under surveillance ever since I arrived here. Don't turn off your tracker. Maybe it'll give you a slight advantage before meeting them. Right. Let's meet this probe. I'll bring it to the ground. Ha! Got it down. I'm looking at the slides. Oh, wow. The cloud in all its glory. Both fascinating and terrifying at the same time. People don't stand a chance. The cloud caught up to them and killed... No, not that. I didn't kill anyone, but... neutralized them all. Which is even worse than death. That probe managed to evacuate. Waited still until I approached it. We know what happened after.
Hello. Hello, I'm, uh, I'm all right. I'm almost there. Perhaps it's the last moment to go back. And do what? As far as I remember, we ran out of options here. It's just, if I were you... With all due respect, Astrogator, it is me being stuck on this surface. So if you let me, I'll take my chances. And I will... I will find the man. the climb worth it already. So you're on top? Yes. Activity within radius? I heard no beeps. I see no dots. It. How? What? I found him. Very well. Now keep your distance and be careful. It's too late. What? I can't hear you. It's too late to keep... Yes, now what is it? Why is it too late? Jasper, speak to me. He's looking for others. He's... <laughs> you. What have you done? Shit. He found you too. Why? And he's blaming us. What did it gain you? That's not good. It's this planet. I'm trapped here too. Get up. for talking. Yes, now don't provoke him. If you would just listen to me for one moment. I said get up. You don't need to be afraid. I, I come in peace. Huh, save it. I guarantee you'll have time to talk later. What a... Just keep your mouth shut. For your own good. Okay, stay calm. He's going to lead you to his superiors. Which is good in theory. Although... To unleash such murderous shit. Hey, don't turn around. You're a scientist, just like me. Yes, now what are you doing? You don't shoot at people. Shoot. He has a gun. I'm a technician, <laughs> smartass. Firearms or chemical weapons. What's the difference? Same outcome. Look, I know that people have died. Your comrades. But you have to understand. I don't know what you want with us. You will answer to the Astrogator. He will determine whether there's room for understanding. That's right. Obviously. It's really not necessary. But if you try anything, I'll do it. I'll shoot you. Yes, sir. I don't know what you're trying to do, but he sounds serious. know what will happen to me. Huh? What did you say? Quiet, Yasna. Don't take any chances with him. He's the talking to me. I'll ask the questions, you just answer with a short yes or no. Is there anyone else? No. Uh -uh. Okay, leave it, Yasna. Let's focus on something else. Uh, do you want to tell me something about this man? Something about his appearance, maybe? Start, damn it. Uh huh. Does it concern his outfit? Uh huh. Which part? Legs? Torso? When it rains, it pours, huh? Head? Uh huh. It's about his head? <laughs> what could be so unusual? Uh, I don't suppose you've been seeing much since he has his helmet on? Uh huh. Really? No helmet? Uh huh. That's why I can hear him so clearly. It's, if he's been without it for a long time, with these levels of oxygen and methane, he must be a lunatic. 
It works. Let's go. Break time's over. I can hear something's happening. Do you think you could ask? Where are you taking me? You came here yourself. <laughs> so what are you expecting, huh? Don't risk it. Let it go. You set up a field base down there. So I didn't expect you to have a second one here. Yes, really? Oh, really? I'm listening. I have no idea what this place is, nor why or, or where you're leading me. Doctor, bite your tongue for once. Thank you. Just not that thing. The signal is getting weaker. Uh -huh. Get in. Ah. Sit here. And don't you dare move. I have something for you. That's even more than we need. too. What about our friend? Still cranky? Huh. Always thought the speleologists weren't exactly the funny types. Although, Spliscus the speleologist sounds pretty damn hilarious. Come on, you must be hungry. Gus, my friend, it's just me. Take it easy. You're safe. But you have to eat something to have strength. Oh, gee, don't do that. It's tasty. Eat. Come on, eat. Did you like it? Fortunately, I don't have any good news. I've searched the caves. I know Dr. Magdov went down there. If only you could tell me which cave she worked in. Maybe it would be easier then. If only you could. Sebulon has also gone missing without a trace. I don't even know where to look. And the whole convoy crew. I'll go there tomorrow. Maybe by then, with reinforcements. It went smoothly. He objected so much.
going to happen to you? Lemdor, comrade. Don't be fooled. She's not our friend. She's responsible for all this. You don't know who I am. And you don't listen. And she's lying, too. Sorry, I need to restrap you. I'll be broadcasting. And you, mind your own business. Hello, Bridge. Rohitra speaking. <sighs> Rohitra. Can you hear me? Over. You're still not getting through. This is an urgent announcement. It's the 26th day of the mission, 1300 hours, 42 minutes. I am reporting the presence of Commonwealth units on the surface of the planet. I have arrested one person. It's a woman, unarmed. I haven't noticed any other people or other units nearby, but this person was in active radio contact. I'm requesting backup, over and out. Hey, Milos, hope you're still in range. Listen, the Commonwealthers are here. I have one of them, uh, a woman. She was talking to someone on the radio, but I didn't see anyone around. I see what you're doing. <clears throat> I just wanted to sit more comfortably. Yeah, sure. Better get comfortable with discomfort. We'll sit around for a while. My name's Yasna. Mm, not that I'm asking. You're Rohitra, right? <clears throat> I work as an astrobiologist. Brother is a spy. Don't eavesdrop on me, Yasna. Don't talk to me. Uh, I just wanted to ask. Don't ask. <laughs> uh, so what now? Uh, talk to the wall? <laughs> I'm not prohibiting you from doing that. Yet. yourself from the flies uh, from what flies y you named them that yourself I mean the Alliance did mm -hmm. seems to me that the commanding staff will have a lot to talk to you about fortunately I don't have to do you have air filters here <sighs> did you know there's methane in the atmosphere I know these tanks are a temporary solution You've been camping here long? I suppose you often go out for supplies. Ugh. You won't stop talking, will you? Well, there's nothing else to do on this wretched planet. <laughs> True that. We've been waiting for backup for more than a day. They should be here soon. So I advise you not to have any stupid ideas. You look like you've been here for at least a month. But fine, I'll play along. <laughs> I have no reason to lie to you. Wait, Condor? Condor what? You. Are you from Condor's crew? Yeah, so? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Here we can agree, you're talking complete nonsense. What do you mean? How come that's such a revelation? The Invincible was supposed to be here soon. Not Condor. Not now. Where did you get this information from? From intelligence. There you go. Will you finally admit what you were up to here? I'm from the Dragonfly, a small research unit. Our actual mission was coming to an end. We were on our way back when intelligence intercepted information about your ship. Did they really send you to spy on us? You could say so. We were supposed to seize this opportunity to surpass your research. <laughs> then they led you on a wild goose chase. We didn't even have any research planned. We landed due to a malfunction in the main core. 
the work dragged on for so long, the scientists were given permission to study the planet. But they couldn't sit still in one damn place. That's all. <sighs> Fuck. Nothing adds up. But I know what's wrong with your comrades. The same thing happened to our people. How many of you were there? Six people. Only two of which are still unharmed. Including you? Me and our astrogator. Is he around here too? I'm the only one left on the surface. So... Not many. I told you. We're a simple unit. Here's the rest. Koval, our physicist. He's unresponsive now. Always had a gentle nature to him, and a rather peculiar sense of humor. Gorski, a cyberneticist, a golden child. Serious beyond his years, yet full of youthful curiosity. He miraculously survived. I gave him my oxygen. Then the lander picked him up. Now I don't even know what state he's in. That doesn't sound like a miracle to me. Huh? What? You saved him, not some dumb luck. Marit, a geologist. Her mind's as sharp as a razor. She's tough on stupidity like no other. She's... She was a dear friend of mine. Krauter, a chemist. Second in rank to Astrogator. He was mortally wounded while wandering in the stupor. We don't even know how it exactly happened. Show them to me. There were more of us. Much more. Milos left for Condor with the survivors. Those who were unable to... to do anything, really. I stayed to see if anyone else survived. And so we wait. What a shame. Uh, do you smoke? I would if I hadn't run out. Here. That's a good brand. <laughs> Coval always smoked them. Fine. Let me tell you something. Something you won't like. Oh? I'm listening. My blaster doesn't work. I destroyed its power supply myself. <laughs> what? I don't want to kill anyone ever again. I'd rather not remember it, you know? So, you've killed before? This one time. One too many. When was the last time you had something to drink? The last time? <laughs> I don't even remember. Thought so. It's water. <laughs> Local, but treated. Go ahead. You must be thirsty after everything you've been through. seconds. Very funny. Do you really know what's wrong with them? I know what caused it. And how. This planet is inhabited by microbots that your scientists have called flies. Millions of microbots. A real cloud. What? A cloud of flies, which can literally erase the human mind. Wash away all memories. That sounds... Somehow? You'll find everything in my journal. The course of events. Pictures of the cloud. Should I throw it? No, that's enough throwing. We'll do as follows. I'll give that Astro Gator of yours a message, letting him know you're alive. Then, I'll read your journal. And in the meantime, you will get some rest. You've been through a lot. Take my bedroll if you want.
Rahitra, do you don't mind if I play with your probe? Well, no answer is also an answer. to them in the food or does he take it himself okay okay take it easy Rahitra are you sleeping I'll take that as a yes You, how did you get here? The Commonwealth, what are you doing here? Take it easy, Rahitra. It's me, Yasna. I do not know any... Hang on. How do you know my name? For crying out loud, we met yesterday. You really don't remember. I... Is this some new trick of yours? Damn Commonwealthers. Go on, answer me. 
put that thing away. We both know the blaster doesn't work. You told me about it yourself. And about the man you killed with it. Fuck. I know that you're waiting for help from the Condor. Doing everything you can to take care of Spluskus and Lendor. I know what's wrong with them, and I'm guessing something similar might have happened to you. Can you somehow... Let me finish. You have my journal. Everything is in there. Are you talking about this? Yes. Read it. And I... I'll wait some more. So, have you read everything? I've read enough. Take it. Hey, hey, it's going to be fine. We'll make it. You're Dr. Yasna, right? Yasna is enough. Okay, Yasna, I have a favor to ask. Someone needs to go and find Milos. If that cloud really damaged my mind, then we don't know how much time has passed. In fact, I don't know anything anymore. I'm worried he's not back yet. Don't worry. I was thinking the same thing. I'll leave right now. Me wait here with the guys. Thank you. There's a rover down below. You must use another exit. A hidden one, so to speak. It's over here, behind me. Go ahead. I know it looks far from inviting, but good luck, Doc. That was... he was. I don't know. Tell nothing, everything. Whoa, that is one big pile. Base, come in. Yes, sir. Uh, good to hear from you. I admit that man's message fell short of reassuring me. Those reinforcements he spoke of arrived. I tried to intercept their response, to no avail. Nothing like that happened. There's something off with those people, Astrogator. I mean, more than I expected. Are you talking about reinforcements, or have you met anyone else? There were two more men with him.
completely wiped out. Well, that doesn't surprise me. Rahitra, on the other hand. Yes, Doctor? Beneath the rough exterior, he's... he's just a confused man. I don't know what's wrong with him, but he didn't remember me this morning. Has he met the cloud? Apparently. Oh, I haven't told you the most important thing. Condor's here. Condor? Yes. HQ messed everything up. It was Condor that was flying to Regis 3, not the Invincible. And that was some time ago. I'm following the transport that was headed there. We need to get to the bottom of this insane story. Excuse my blunt language, Yasna, but I'm going to beat the living shit out of our spies. I'm counting on it, Astrogator. just like to believe she'll find you alive over and over. Yes, no. Given the circumstances, I wouldn't count on... I know. But I promise to do it, so I will. Besides, he'll only leave when he's certain that reinforcements won't arrive. And I don't want to be stuck in that cave with him forever. to the place where they were stationed before they set up the base. Do you want to stop? Mm. Okay. Maybe I'll find something worthwhile. There's several options here. Are they still working? Yes. 
I wonder for how long. Sometimes I think we don't stand a chance. What are you talking about? About us, Astrogator. Humans. Biological organisms. All this so-called life is so fragile compared to the lifelessness of machines. So you found more bodies? One. Is it Milos? No. Someone else. No. You can't help him anymore. But there are still people who are alive and need you. Let's not forget about them. As you said yourself, Doctor. Please keep going. Hey, me relax. Come in. I'm using an open channel to broadcast. Over. How's it going? Are you receiving this, Astrogator? Affirmative. Milos, what do you think? What's gonna happen now? I have no idea. I've never seen anything like this before. Perhaps the higher-ups can do something. Hey! Hey, Morrow! Sit down! Uh, I wish we had secured them better. But back to the matter. Have you found anyone else? One working arc ten so far. Several probes also seem to people for Hedra. Only people matter. I know. The arc ten will help me look for them. I'm going away for a while. I stopped at the old excavations. I'll look for Pepsol. All right. I'll check the base again. Over and out. <laughs> Hedra, come in. I'm moving on. About Pepsol. There's nothing we can do for him anymore. Over and out. Hey, Milos. I hope you're still within reach. Listen, the Commonwealthers are here. I have one of them, a woman. I doubt she was alone, but I, I didn't see anyone else. I've already broadcast to the base. Just come back soon. I'm closing the channel. Talk to you later. Okay, I think that's enough sightseeing for me. If Milos kept going, so should I. Agreed. 